What's up, YouTube? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we are opening up another box of Modern Horizons. The EVs, I checked this morning, they're still around 240, and which actually seems about what exactly my average is. I think our first box, we got really good pulls, and we hit about, uh, I think it was 280, and then we just came short of 200. Box number two, so it does average around 240. And we've yet to pull uh, Urza, which at the beginning, at launch, was the most expensive card. However, we did pull multiple, whoa, 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 Ren in sixes, which now is the new top dog. So while we didn't pull Urza, we've been pulling very, oh my gosh, this thing keeps falling over. Pulling very well. Um, stay. Okay. Let's get into it. We're going into half the box. We'll do the second half in the next Magic the Gathering opening. Let's do this. So, obviously, Ren and Six, as many of those Horizon Lands as we can find. That's what we're looking for. Let's begin. It's right here. All right, as always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, hit that like button down below. Subscribe for future content. Hit that bell. And, um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, we have a zombie token. Ooh. Um, Thran, the something physician. A snow covered swamp. Crushing Foothills. I, well, I was considering buying a bunch of these when they were like less than a dollar. I hesitated and now they're at four. I should have picked up as many as I can. This thing's absolutely insane. If you can make Cascade work and just Cascade in that, uh, 244 Rhinos with Trample, absolutely insane. So you have Munitions Expert, Wall of Blossoms, and then a Battle Screech. Alright, we'll just kind of see. I feel like there's not too many commons that are great. The scale up is an amazing uncommon. But yeah, crushing, crashing footfalls. Really like that card, but yeah, so I should have snatched up as many as I could. Alright, we do have a foil token in Shapeshifter. I uh, don't remember what your name is. Ooh, yes! There we go. Foil. Un or foil common and then force of negation the best rare i think this thing's hovering around 30 30 maybe right now we'll check at the end oh okay so that's a face of divinity uh throat seeker and Ra root rot widow pack all right so have you opened any of these a box of modern horizons yet how have your pulls been let me know i feel like um, one was home run, the other one was not a dud, but didn't hit, was not able to cross that 200 threshold. Alright, still covered mountain, and then reap the past. This is an interesting card, but I don't think it's good enough. Rebuild Forgotten Cave. I feel like, uh, reap the past has a lot of, a lot of things where it's pretty good. A lot of decks where it's pretty good, but none where it just synergizes perfectly. Yeah, it's kind of expensive if you want to pull multiple multiple cards. All right, Especially, I think it's the random part that kills it. Okay, cool art. Snow covered island. Ooh, okay. I thought maybe that was the foil rare. Etchings of the chosen. Cool, and then Collector Orf. Throws of Chaos, Exclude, and Conifer Worm. And we're not going to go through the comments. Alright, see, so we got a Goblin. Ooh, Ren and Six, that's who we're definitely looking for. Snow Covered Forest, and Force of Rage. This card is terrible. Uh, so the force part means you can cast on your opponent's turn by discarding another red card. I'm not sure why you need to be in very desperate to need two, three, one tokens that they don't have haste because they're about to go away. Yeah, at the oh wait at the be yeah at the beginning of your next an upkeep so it does nothing. Illusion foil. Snow covered mountain. 
Sword of Sinew and Steel. Uh, this is the second one we pulled of this. It's pretty good. I feel like um, short to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact. Uh, I feel like that's that's kind of like a sideboard card at best. But hey, we'll take it. Swords are always have potential. I was about to say they're always good, but all right. So it's weird. Uh, we've opened this is our third box. Two of the times I believe it was like in this order, and then one time was reverse. Goblin Engineer. It's a pretty interesting card. Shatter Assumptions. Goblin Matron. That's not bad. Tranquil Thicket. Cycle Land. All right. So far, no Horizon Lands, which is uh, pretty concerning. One one Mythic and one big hit in Force of Negation. Shapeshifter. The something like the Queen Bear. Ooh, that island is so cool. And ooh, Hogak. I think this guy's like $8. Very cool spell. Very cool creature. Abominable Tree Folk. Wing Shards. Wing Shards are kind of like. And then Grave Shifter. We got another Illusion. All right, sure, why not? Snow-covered plains. Oh, there's a Eula. So we got the art card, and then we pulled the Ayula, the bear. All right, let's see. Crosswalk Bastion, Ingenious Infiltrate. Yeah, you know, we keep pulling the, the actual card. Um, my piles are getting all messed up. Sorry, guys, just one second. All right, let's keep going. Zombie, the illusion, snow covered swamp, plague engineer. I do like this card as well. Uh, I feel like most likely in most decks he's too slow, but I do feel like for uh, some kind of control deck, this thing would just be really good. I wonder if if that would be a good counter to humans. But I do think that humans is just too slow because obviously you're going to need more than one of them to stop them. And I, obviously you don't want to use it to block, so I feel like it's probably a little bit too slow. But I like the design of the card. Soldier, the Electro Skull Electromancer, Island Unbounding Flourishing. I don't think it's that good. Might be cast a non -per permanent spell with mana cost contains X, double the value of X. I'm not sure how many decks use Hydroid Crisis, but that's the that comes to mind. Uh, let's see, modern decks, Conflagrates. That's Dredge though. I'm not sure if they play three mana enchantments. Although for Conflagrate, I feel like that'd be a pretty good one. Ooh, there is our first Horizon Land, and we got a spell stuff. Whenever, whenever the cards are like this, I keep kind of like going too far back. Valley Changeling. All right, no scale ups. That is the primary uncommon that we are searching for. Hoping that can make bring back Infect. That's that's kind of like what I read in. Ooh, there's that Lightning Skelemental. This card's interesting. Uh, but yeah, uh, always a fan of the Infect decks, and it sounds like Scallop will still carry over the Infect. Um, so, be really excited if that happens. And then an Astral Drift. I feel like people were speculating on this, but doesn't look like it's going to come out too much. Talisman of Creativity. Whoa. Okay, so we got two. We have one foil, one pretty good Horizon Land, and one great rare. For half a box, though, can't say that's too promising. Swamp. Ooh, Cass. Cass is 
So Kess, I did purchase some. Um, I don't know. I feel like she could be pretty good when you think about it. Uh, I mean, if any deck that has cantrips, and yes, this is kind of like a lot of different colors. Um, but assuming you have like an opt or something in your graveyard, uh, I feel like this card's almost like a Jace, where you for the passive effect or like the plus zero gives you just like a brainstorm. And while you know there's not actually a brainstorm, um, but you can easily have just like a, some kind of cantrip and kind of like just reuse one of them once per turn. Although you do have to pay the mana, but still, you know, like a reoccurring Snapcaster Mage. The only thing is that it. It's only on your turn, so it is kind of like at sorcery speed. But I don't know. I feel like that card has. Oh yes, another foil mythic ranger captain of Eos. This card is. Oh wow, look at that foil pattern. That's really cool. How it's just on part of the tiger. All right, let's take a look at this card. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card to convert mana cost one or less. Reveal and put it into your hand. Shuffle your library. Sure. Uh, you can sacrifice your opponent, can't cast non-creature spells this turn. So, any kind of combo deck. Um, so, like, this thing just, you know, the fact that it replaces itself, that's that's cool. Um, but, you know, I feel like that sacrifice, just when you're about to go off, you pop that, and then, ooh, Plane Bound Accomplice. Um, and then, you know, you can't be countered. The only thing... Um, even, I was going to say, even like an infect or anything where uh, where there's going to be a fight over something. In, I guess that does apply to infect. Um, but yeah, very happy with that pull right there. Sword of Sinew and Steel. Another foil mythic. Man, that is insane. Uh, out of three boxes, we pulled two foil mythics. Bizarre Trade Mage. Kind of a cool card. Um, part of me wonders if this would be good in... Um, I feel like there's a lot of potential here, but the three mana cost, the three four flyer though, that's pretty bulky. Um, I don't know, is it decks I feel like I could use for any kind of like reanimate? Uh, so it's just kind of the fact that it has a, like a good size. Uh, I feel like it just doesn't play usually when you want things in your discard, like you don't really need creatures on the battlefield, I guess. All right, last pack, absolutely insane opening. All right, let's see. No, oh, I can't think it's right after that. Oh, another horizon. I was about to say, the only problem with this opening is we do not have many horizon lands. And there is our second one. Ooh, gosh. Insane opening again. Uh, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. We pulled another foil mythic. Ranger of Eos. Amazing. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. Gonna double sleeve this bad boy up real quick and we'll see how we did actually we'll do a quick recap and then we'll do the TCG player app to see where we came out all right see big hits two horizon lands oh, third wow three mythics two horizon lands. that's insane okay this this out this half a box was insane All right, so let's see. Crushing Footfalls, Force of Negation, best rare. Uh, another solid rare. Two Horizon Lands, four Mythics, and half the box. And one of them is a Ranger of Eos Foil. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to use the TCG Player app to see how far we got in just half the box. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I'm very optimistic at this point with us breaking that $200 mark. Um, I, was, I am shocked that that range of EOS is only 30 for foil. Uh, but let's sort by price. All right, so uh, Force of Negation comes out on top. That card is so good. Um, then the foil mythic. Yeah, only 31. That's that's very surprising. Maybe uh, I'll give it some time. I think that card, you know, I feel like it's very strong. Uh, we got the two horizon lands um, and then a couple mythics and then followed by, whoops, file. Followed by some very solid, um, solid rares. So, 
Uh, we're already at 136. We still have half the box. I'm very optimistic. And definitely stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to finish off this box. And we'll see if we can't beat that too. Well, definitely I think we're going to beat the 200. But we're going for that 240 uh, EV. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. All down below. I'm Wanna Turtle. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.